A tragedy tonight in the missions field. Two Oklahoma missionaries were murdered by a gang in Haiti. Davy and Natalie Lloyd were serving in the country for nearly two years when they were killed last night. I talked with Davy's parents today about his death. He told us from the time he was really little, he's like, someday I'm going to be the missionary here in Haiti. Sitting in their Claremore home, David and Elisa Lloyd say after decades in the Haitian mission field, they never thought they'd lose their son in this way. I just don't know why, how it all ended up the way it did. Thursday, David says a gang came to their nonprofit missions in Haiti, beat up his son David, and looted the place. The 23-year-old had just a minute to get on the phone with his dad before an interruption that ended up taking his life. There was a huge commotion at the gate. Um, so he goes, Dad, I gotta go, there's something else going down. David tells me a second gang showed up, and while he doesn't know exactly what happened, one of their men ended up dead. That's when Davy, his 21-year-old wife Natalie, and their missions director, Jude, ended up barricaded in their home. He shot that home up, um, trying to get to him, and finally they just ended up busting the door down and, and went in and shot him and uh, then burned, uh, set them on fire, the place on fire. It's an unthinkable tragedy for the Lloyd family, who's dedicated the last quarter century to Haitian missions work. Davy grew up in the country and had a heart for the people there. There's no words. It's just absolutely devastating. And I just never expected the way that my son loved and cared for the Haitian people that they would in return do something like this to him. The Lloyds tell me recently the gang problem has gotten much worse. This gang situation that we've been fighting for the last five years down there is just, it's broke, it's broken the people and they feel completely hopeless right now. Um, I mean, that's probably not the way I can say I feel right now because, I mean, I've been in shock. It's been just shy of two years since Davy and Natalie started serving in Haiti. Just after they got married, they went to the mission field, serving in the nonprofit school and bakery. The Lloyds say their missions director, Jude, was also instrumental in their family. He leaves behind a wife and two young kids. It's just really devastating because he was one of our best friends in Haiti. He took care of our kids, and I suspect that's why he was with Davy at the time. The Lloyds say they haven't even started to process this tragedy, and it'll take months, maybe years, to wrap their heads around what happened. David told me he's been working all day to get their bodies back to the States so they can bury them.